guys, we've got another art from home video. This week we're learning about the art of Ohio and our state insect is the ladybug. You guys ready to draw a ladybug? Yeah, sure. All right, so this is usually a kindergarten project. So we focus on basic shapes. I'm gonna draw with a marker just so you can see what I'm doing. And they're gonna work with pencil. All right, you guys ready? Okay, vertical or horizontal, it doesn't matter which direction your paper is. Our first job is to draw a circle, and I want it to be nice and big because we're going to draw one big ladybug on our paper, okay? So a nice big circle, okay, right in the middle of our paper. All right, and when I teach kindergarten, a lot of times I think about letters, like the letter U or the letter O, because that helps them to be able to have a little bit more confidence when they do their shape, okay? So the head of the ladybug, we're gonna think about a letter U. So watch this, I'm gonna turn my paper, because right now it's just a circle, so I have to decide which way the top is. And I'm gonna make my head like a letter U. So if I was drawing it, I'm gonna draw it from the bottom, because then I can draw a letter U, because I'm comfortable making my shapes for letters. So I'm gonna draw my letter U, and that's going to become the head of our ladybug. And when I drew it, I turned my paper like this. See how it looks like a letter U? All right, you guys got it? Perfect. All right, on the side of the ladybug's head, he has some little googly eyes. So we're gonna add, again, I'm gonna turn my paper. I'm gonna make two more little letter U's, and those are gonna look like his little eyes that are sticking out from the side of his head. And when I draw it, I flip it upside down. Again, in kindergarten, they're gonna feel more comfortable thinking about those as a letter instead of a shape. All right, you guys looking good? We got some good little bugs. All right, we're gonna draw a line straight down his back. So our big circle is his back, and we're gonna draw a straight line all the way down the center. And that gives him a separation for his wings on his back. Easy peasy. Looking good. All right. He has little legs. How many legs does an insect have? Six. Six. Six? Good job. All right. So we need three on the right and three on the left. And he has little wiggly legs. So draw your own insect legs. They can be bent. They could be curved or they could be straight. So imagine your own little insect legs. There's three on each side, and they can look however you want. Three little insect legs on each side, so six total. Do you have a little bug? Let's show off your little bug. All right, let me show yours off. Ooh, he's got wiggly legs. Then they're long legs. All right, guys, what are we missing to make it look like a ladybug? Dots. Dots! He needs his spots. All right, so we're going to talk about symmetry. You guys can add your own dots. Just like our face, if I drew a line down the middle, or if I hold a pencil, that one's not a good one. It's not very dark. Here we go. If I put a pencil in front of my face, do you see how I have two eyes, and they're in the same place, and the half of my mouth is on one side, and half is on the other? That's called symmetry. When two sides are the same, or they match. And a lot of times we think about a butterfly in the art room for symmetry. Her wings are the same, whether they're open or closed, they match. So when you draw your dots, they should show symmetry. Good job, Colt. All right. So wherever I put one dot on one side, I have to show a dot on the other side. Good deal. You got it? All right, let's show that one off. All right, so this is our state insect. It's a ladybug. We're going to pause the video and color them in, and then we'll be right back. Bye, art friends. Mwah. All right, guys, welcome back. We went ahead and colored some basic colors here. So we did black, or we imagined our own colors for our bugs. I did blue for the eyes, and I did the back with red colored pencil. You could use any supplies you have at home. So if you don't have colored pencils, it doesn't matter. You can use marker or crayons. 
And why don't you guys show off yours with basic colors? You ready? All right. And you got yours, buddy? Oh, he was working on some more details here, but. All right. So we are going to allow you guys some more time, just like we would in art class, to add some details. So now we have our basic shapes. And if you'll notice, I only use. I focus on the circle and the letter U today, but we're gonna add details to the background. So now I would challenge all my kindergartners, where does your ladybug live? What is your ladybug doing? Maybe what is it sitting on or walking on? So now we have our first step and you have all of this beautiful white space in the background. What details can you add? All right, so we're gonna work for a few minutes and we'll be back. All right, guys, welcome back. We took a few minutes and added some details and a background scene to our ladybug drawings. So I added a couple layers of leaves. So it looks like my ladybug is walking on top of a leaf. All right, and what was your idea? Good job, so we got layers of leaves again. And what was yours? On a fall leaf. Ooh, a fall leaf this time. And some little antennas got added. All right, artists, I can't wait to see your ladybugs from home. It is the state insect of Ohio. We're drawing using circles, a letter U, and then imagine your own background. All right, bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. bye.